Hi, good morning. My name's Wade Hammond. Uh, I'll be showing you around some of the Red Bull Air Races in case of an emergency, how to get the pilots out, how to open the canopies, uh, a few specifics about the planes and the three different kinds mainly. And at the end, we'll show you a little bit about the media plane. This is the first of the three aircraft we'll be looking at. This is a fully composite aircraft and it's the MXSR. On this airplane, it weighs uh, 1180 pounds, about 580 kilograms. Uh, the majority of the weight on the aeroplanes is in the front. This is about 400 pounds, 200 kilograms is the engine. It's the heaviest bit on the aeroplane. Uh, right behind the engine is the fuel tank. For the races, we take off with 50 liters, 13.2 gallons, and all the fuel lines run forward from that point. There's no fuel lines that run aft, so uh, don't worry about any fuel lines further back from behind the fuel tank. Uh, below the fuel tank is a little smoke tank. It's uh, 10 liters, two and a half gallons of the smoke oil. Uh, smoke oil we use, we pump it into the exhaust pipe and it forms a smoking trail behind the aeroplane. It's a non-flammable oil and that's why we use it. To open the canopy, you push in the center, which will bring the handle up, turn the handle down, and then lift the canopy up. The aeroplane can only be opened from one side. Uh, the labels will explain that. Same deal, turn the handle down, open the canopy up. If you need more room for the canopy, the lanyard can always be cut and it will allow the canopy to go further over to give you some more access. So on each of the aeroplanes, they're slightly different inside. Uh, we're going to show you how to shut the engine down, how to switch the fuel off, the engine and the electrics. To shut the engine down, it's got two magneto switches. Down is off. This switch here is the master switch. Turn it level to be off. And in between my legs is the fuel switch. To shut down the fuel, it's got a little red button on it. You have to pull the red button up and then turn it. Turn it all the way to the off position. So now that you've got the canopy open and you've got the aeroplane shut down, the mags, the master and the fuel switch, we're going to do this to each of the aeroplanes and then we're going to show you how to get the pilot out. So this is the next aeroplane. This is a Corvus. Uh, it's built slightly different. It's got a steel tubular fuselage and it's covered with carbon fiber on the outside. So the steel tubes on the inside are all painted a gray color and they're a great place to hook onto if you're trying to hook the aeroplane. So to open the canopy on the Corvus, it's the same as the MX. Push the button in, turn the handle down. But the handle is on the fuselage, so it doesn't come up with the canopy when you open the canopy. Okay, when you have the canopy open, on the Corvus, you can cut the lanyard to open it further, but it also has a release mechanism for the canopy. If you pull this handle upright, it will release the front hinge. So now that we've got the canopy open, now it's time to shut down the aeroplane. So it's how to switch off the magnetos, the master, and the fuel once again. To switch off the magnetos on this aeroplane, you have to pull the button towards you and then pull it down. Same with the two magnetos, the master switch, the fuel switch is the same as the other one, where you pull the button up and then turn it to the off position. Okay, this is the next aeroplane. This is an Edge 540. Uh, it's also a steel, steel fuselage, steel tube fuselage, covered with carbon fiber. But the lower section at the back here is actually covered with fabric. The canvas on this aeroplane starts from this point and it goes down and all the way to the back. The canvas is very soft and easy to get through, which allows great access to the steel tubes, a great anchor point underneath it. Uh, to open the canopy on these ones, the, the lever takes quite a lot of force to move it to the up position. And then the canopy itself opens. Okay, once the canopy is open, once again, you can cut the lanyard to open it more. But on an edge, you can pull the lever back and it will undo the front hinge again, making the canopy pretty easy to remove. And now that we've got the canopy open, it's time to shut it all down. So to switch off the magnetos, pull the switches towards you, push them down, pull it towards you and down, and that switch will be like that to switch it off. Okay, to turn off the fuel, there's no buttons to push or anything. You just turn the lever to the inside. Okay, as you can see, we've got a pilot inside now. Uh, the pilot at the moment doesn't have a helmet on. Uh, it's something we'll explain to you in a minute. So let's go over what we've learned so far. On this plane, to open the canopy requires a little bit of force to pull the handle up. Push the canopy over, magnetos off, electrical off, 
fuel switches on the other side. The harnesses on these aeroplanes are all exactly the same. It's part of the rules. Everyone must have the same harness. They're pretty easy to undo. There's two levers. You pull the two levers. That'll leave the pilot free to get out. At this stage, the pilot has got a parachute on it, which is a great point to hold him on. He's also got a life jacket, and they have a spare air bailout bottle, a very small bottle in board for them as well. Every pilot has a helmet. Um, they've all got a microphone and earphones in it. So that means there's a lead attaching the helmet to the aeroplane. The leads are pretty simple. They just pull them out. They are literally the same as uh, your MP3 player. They just require a little bit of force. But for your information, the helmet is actually attached to the aeroplane. All you have to do is pull the plugs out. This is the media plane. It's an extra 300 helm. It's a two-seat aeroplane. It's for taking media people in rides. It doesn't go in the racetrack, uh, but it is slightly different in a way. It's a little bit bigger. It's about two and a half thousand pounds. It's a lot heavier compared to our race aeroplanes. And then the canopy on this one opens in a slightly different way. There's no handle on the outside of this aeroplane to open, open the canopy. The handle is actually on the inside. So it requires you pushing the little window in and moving it out the way to arrive inside to get to the handle. Once I push my hand through the window, what I'm doing is squeezing these two levers together. And that will undo the canopy, allowing it to open. As you see, it's a massive canopy. And it's got the two seats in it. OK, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your attention. This has been an overview of the aircraft in the Red Bull Air Race World Championship.